Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, and or good evening wherever you guys are watching from. This is Mary. Welcome to my backyard garden. Today I'm going to do harvest a few things. I need to harvest the beans. They are ready. I cannot put it off any longer because if I do, the pods will get hard and it won't be good to eat. And then also I have to harvest um, some, a few of the peppers that are ready, a few apples and um, bottle gourd. So let's get started. That's a lot of them. These are, um, these are the Italian, Italian beans, like I said, the way you can tell is it's because it's, uh, it's, flat and wide and for you to eat the pod you need to harvest them while the seeds are still not uh, developed yet otherwise if you leave it leave until they bulge up you cannot eat the pod anymore the pods anymore because they get hardened I have quite a few to go because this whole plot are all beans. I do this every year. I've been gardening for years, but uh, I really never put it on YouTube until now. So I'm a really new, I'm a new YouTuber, so I have a lot of things to learn, I suppose. Okay guys, so I'm going to put the camera down and um, keep harvesting because it will take me a while. I'll see you guys later, okay? Thank you. Okay guys, I'm almost done harvesting the beans. Um, anyway, I planted two kinds of beans, two kinds of pole beans. I planted this one too. These are the uh, long and slender ones. This is the, these are the ones that we see in the store. See how long? And this one also needs to be harvested while it's young. I cannot use my cutter because I'm holding the camera. See this? It's long. And I just want to show you. See how long it is? There we go. See that? So. There, I got a lot of beans. The basket is almost full, and this is my first pick. So, I'm going to show you something first before we go on to get to uh, the peppers. Anyway, so I have a bunch here of Italian beans that's. Um, that's been left too long here look so now see the seeds bulging so I'm not picking this up I'm just gonna 
leave this, leave them, let them be and develop the seeds. And I could, this could actually be my seedlings for next year. So this is enough. There you go. See how they're getting fatter and, and bulgier. See that seeds forming? Okay, now we're going to, so this is what I harvested. It's a lot. Now we're going to harvest a few of the peppers. Going to the other side. Okay, here we go. Um, I think I need to make room in my basket. Make room for the peppers, okay. So, here we go. These are, uh, this one here, this one is supposed to be a uh, jalapeno. Uh, but I think the pollination, <laughs> when the bees pollinated them, they all get mixed up. So the color is funny. It's supposed to be green. Jalapenos are green, right? It's not, it's not, it's not yellow like this. See? So anyway. I'm gonna pick this uh, the right one. See how nice is that? Red. And then I want some. I think this is a uh, yellow pepper. This one here is a uh, this is a cubanel. See, it's actually it's not it's not hot. It's um, a little to me. I uh, to me it's like it is sweet. It's not that hot. But I think <laughs> when you plant next to when you plant them next to the jalapenos. The taste kind of changed, like I said, because of the pollination issues. So, let me get more. Peppers this year, didn't, like I said, did not give me enough. This one here, too, I don't know the name of this one. But this one is um, white in color, and these are sweet. I got this, um, the seeds from the store one day. I bought it and then um, saved the seeds. And then uh, planted them this year, and this is how it looks like. I think I'll just, uh, when I cook them, I'll just stuff them. See? They look beautiful though, don't they? Okay, and then I have, I have, look at this. It's uh, kind of purple, but... It looks like uh, purple and at the same time it looks like a um, jalapeno shape I don't know the purple pep my pep the pep purple peppers that I planted last year are the big ones I don't know why it turned like this so I think I'll just leave this one no no I'll take it Never mind I'll pick them and I'll stuff them Oh, I dropped it. So, let me finish, finish picking all the peppers and then I'll get back to you later. Thank you. Okay guys, so I'm done harvesting um, the peppers that I need to make uh, dinner tonight. I have enough, um, I harvested enough of the little ones, like this, like I said, this one turned into a jalapeno, uh, I have some cubanelles, and then um, 
I harvested a few of the big be pepper ones, the bell pepper ones. Uh, I like to, um, for the big ones, the way I'm gonna cook them is to uh, stuff them with uh, rice, um, rice with some uh, ground beef, and then also for the little ones, for the long ones, I will make poppers out of them. I will, uh, you know, cut them, take the seeds off, put some uh, cheese in it, and then wrap them in bacon and put them in the oven. Mmm, so yummy. Or if I don't put it in the oven, you can also just grill them. It should be really, really good. So now I'm going to harvest the gourd before I harvest the uh, apples. So let's go and see the um, gourd. Okay, guys, so here is the bottle gourd that I want to harvest today. Look how long. It's really long. I think it's like 24 inches maybe. So it is heavy. I can tell it's pulling the vine. And I have more coming. See that one there? That one's long too. And a few more uh, little ones on the other side. So I'm going to put down the camera first and pick that cord. Okay guys, so I got it. Look how long. My goodness. <laughs> I'll probably cut some and put them in the freezer. I mean, this is a lot to eat. Okay, let's go on to harvesting some apples. I have a few apples to harvest. Okay guys, so this is really exciting for me because this is the first time in my whole life picking apples in my own backyard garden so this is like i said this is um these are honey crisps okay and um it's short because i try to control the growth i every week every year when uh every year i top the i clip the top so it doesn't get any taller so Anyway, the other day, in my other post, I mentioned that I should wait until September, but I was looking at it and I said, well, wait a minute, they change colors. This is how they are supposed to look like when they are ripe. Um, so I think some apples um, ripen early, I mean, are matured early. One of them are this um, honey crisp. So, oh man, oh man, let's see. See how they... they they come off easy uh, of the stem. That means they are ripe. Oh my goodness. Oh, they dropped too. Some of them have bugs in it. So, like I said, because I did not. Um, but look at this. This is a good size. Oh my gosh. Fresh apples. So, I did because I did not spray it at all. I want it to be really totally organic. <clears throat> Everything that I planted in my garden are 100% organic. I do not use fertilizers. It's just God and sunshine. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at that. They just fall too. This is a good size. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, this one is ruined. Look at the uh, bottom. Oh, they just fall. Oh, some bugs got in there, I think. I wonder if I can uh, maybe cut the thing and then use the... Because I can make some apple sauce out of it. Oh, they fall off easy. My goodness. They are really ripe. This one, another one is a good one here. I think I'll leave the uh, the ones that I can that have bugs. I'll just leave it here for the bugs to eat. I'll just pick the good ones for me. Oh my goodness! But why is this resist? Okay, so that one is not ripe yet then, because it's not coming off. All right. This one, yes, that's ripe. Oh, I dropped the other one too. I like to pick them up later. More here. Oh my gosh. 
I'm picking apples in my yard. How exciting is that? Fresh apples. Oh my goodness, this never happened to me until now. And I planted this um, really small. This, um, this apple is only five years old. I bought them from uh, the nursery. I have honey crisp and um, red delicious, but the red delicious not doing good. Okay, so let me finish picking all the apples, the good ones, and then I'll see you later. Okay, guys, so I'm done harvesting the apples. Look, I almost, I filled the basket. It's almost full. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, now the tree is lonely <laughs> until next year. Um, but I really want to try because this is honey crisps. It's supposed to be sweet. So let's try one. That's an, this one looks good. Look, it's a good size, right? Let's see, find out. Mmm. That it is sweet, very sweet. Mm. Wow, it is so good. I cannot talk right now. My mouth is full of apple. <laughs> anyway, um, if you guys are wondering where to get like the seeds, like the uh, Italian beans, Italian bean seedlings, um, and the, um, the regular bean seedlings, and then the peppers, pepper seedlings, I'll just go to Amazon, you know, Amazon has everything. They are, uh, you search everything, and I mean, really, they have everything. So, um, thank you very much for um, sharing the joy with me of uh, harvesting stuff. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And subscribe, please. Thank you. Bye-bye.